Coming this summer to a farmstead in Georgia. One man will take on thousands of bugs. Let's go kill some s**t. You will be driven to the brink of insanity. What will you say to you? Tears will be shed. You will be forced to put it all on the line before the sake of this victory. But in the end, the hero always gets the girl. Okay, so lately we've been having a big problem with stink bugs and squash bugs. It's Georgia, so I hear that's really normal. We're gonna go ahead and try to eradicate them as quickly as possible before they take out our zucchinis, our cucumbers, um, our heirloom pumpkins, and our birdhouse gourds. This bug here, this is one of the culprits that I'm talking about. See them? They're everywhere. These little ones, big ones. Yesterday I was in here, I handpicked off at least 50. They are hiding in these zucchini plants and they've completely ruined these two zucchini plants and then these two cucumber plants, which have been my favorite all season long, um, what they're doing is stopping these cu these cucumbers from developing. They're becoming very malformed. See this one up here, um, and this one here. They're not going to continue to grow and ripen and be the beautiful cucumbers they once were. Um, these two plants have really put out a ton for us lately. And then in the past week, these bugs have completely destroyed our plants. First step I like to do is I like to water the plants because that really stirs up the bugs. They hate it. They come out of hiding. And you can hand pick them like I did yesterday and just squash them. Or you can knock them into a cup of soapy water or just water and feed them to your chickens. Um, but that takes a lot of extra work for me that I don't want to do. So first I'm going to water them and then we'll spray them with the soap and see what happens. Okay. 
We're just gonna get them out of hiding with this water here. I can see them just crawling all over the place right now. It's really upsetting because these cucumber plants have been great for me. Daniel Smith at Gopher Green Living has a video that suggested using Dawn dish soap. It has to be the blue dish soap uh, mixed with water and a spray bottle to kill squash bugs. He has a great video about it and we're going to go ahead and link him below. And in case that doesn't work, we're going to follow it up with the Bug Buster O. This is from HossTools.com. They're a great local Georgia company and we love everything we've gotten from them. This is also an all organic treatment so you don't have to worry about awful pesticides all over your fruits and veggies. Ready to go. So apparently this stuff is working. It just takes a couple seconds to work. Um, here's one of the bugs that we sprayed. Can you see it there? It's like it just kind of freezes them wherever they're at. I'll try to show you underneath some of the leaves that were really bad. Most of them are kind of dying and just falling off the leaves. But some, like these two, see? Now they're dead on the leaf. There's one that just kind of froze there in time. So I don't know if this is going to save our plants. Um, clearly this is something I should have done last week, um, but maybe you guys can learn from my mistakes. And also this is a lesson for us for next year. This was our first like practice garden um, and I've already learned so much from it on things that I will change and make better for next year. So yeah. Dawn soap works good, but catch them early, get ahead of the problem, and don't let them take out your whole garden. The other thing I would say about this stuff is that you have to pretty much directly spray the bugs with it. Um, so there may be plenty more in there that I can't get to. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bug buster, I think, on the garden tunnel. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the garden tunnel. Okay, so I wanted to show you Brody's tunnel, the gourd tunnel, and the changes that there have been just in the last couple of days. Um, all over the tops, the vines have pretty much reached from one side to the other. We've got lots of the fruits or veggies hanging all over the place. A couple of the plants do have the squash bugs attacking them, so I'm going to come through here with the sprayer and get all of this before it becomes a real problem. I'm going to come through and prune off a bunch of these leaves that look like they're kind of struggling just to open it up a little bit more, get some more airflow, and also um, so the pollinators can reach all the flowers. If you have too many leaves and they're, co and they're covering your flowers, uh, the pollinators can't get in and, and reach those flowers and do their work. So you have to help them out a little bit. So that's what we're going to do here. Thank you. 
Some more.